Okay, so what I have here is I have my copper metal in front of a tin chloride solution, and I have my tin metal in front of a copper solution. Notice the color of the copper solution. And just like my half reactions that I wrote in class with the net potentials, we were able to predict the spontaneity of the reaction determining a positive or negative voltage. So we drop the copper into the copper, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, tin chloride, and we drop the tin in the copper chloride. And if you remember our net potentials that we created, we saw that one of these two creates a positive voltage, which represents a pathway for electrons to possibly flow in a redox reaction. Now, of course, in this case, there's going to be re uh, electrons that do uh, are going to be transferred back and forth in one of these reactions. And a positive voltage tells us that there's a forward direction in that reaction. So when we did the copper metal and the tin chloride, we'll come up with negative volts because, as you can see, there's no reaction. Okay, no reaction, which means a negative voltage we would get determines that we could make this happen if I was to add energy, okay, to force something that's poor in oxidizing. The tin plus two, okay, in this case is poor at reduction. So it needs to be forced to reduce onto the copper, and we would need energy to do so. That's why this is non spontaneous with negative voltage. Now, if you look at to the right, Beaker, I've got my tin si sitting in my copper chloride, and this, for net potentials, was a positive voltage, which means that there was a pathway, a potential difference for electrons to flow, because one of the two chemicals, either the copper plus two, was strong enough of an oxidizing agent to pull the electrons, okay, from the tin and become uh, reduced into copper, or the tin was good enough to push its electrons onto the copper. Either way, the combination of the two gives, gave us positive volts in, the re, in, in our net potentials, and we saw positive volts resulting in a spontaneous reaction. And there we have a reaction, okay, where we have the copper plating onto the tin, showing that a reaction was occurring. It was spontaneous. The forward reaction did go. Electrons were passed. We got a positive voltage.